like after a shower. And this is what I look like after a shower. In a towel. Like a normal person. Uh, oh. I didn't um, shower last night because I was just so tired and I didn't want to go to bed with wet hair when I had this cough going. Uh, because that already gives me a sore throat in the winter so I didn't want to exacerbate that. But... I have one today, and look, it's actually a decent looking kind of day. A little cloudy, but the sun is out and there's no precipitation. That's a good day in my book. And today we're doing our family shopping trip. So let's get ready. It's skincare time. I'm actually doing a review of this mask. I will link it below. Um, both of these videos up will be going up on the same day. But, yeah, just doing a face mask before I get ready for the rest of the day. And this is a really nice feeling face mask. This is one of the nicest sheet masks I've used in a long time. I'm not trying to offend anybody with black face. It's just a charcoal mask, just so we know. All right. We're getting ready to run out the door because we're doing our family Christmas shopping. Here's everybody. Ready? Day 15. Oh, no, day 16. That's him. Chocolate cream. Yay! Andrew is still wishing he was in bed. Oh, we got an emergency vehicle coming somewhere. And it says from our direction. What? That light up there, the white light. Signal operation changed. Well, we're uh <laughs> now it doesn't so you hear some I hear it. Yeah. I said there's an emergency vehicle. Is that what the That's white light that white light is for? Oh it's they're to, coming across the earth. Yeah, but they send it both ways. Well, I said we were going shopping. What I meant was we're going to sit in a parking lot that's a gas station that's absolutely packed because we needed to save four cents or something. <laughs> that's what I we meant. We saved the dollar ninety six from two o three. Ooh. That's a lot. Ooh. Yeah, that's like any picture. That's one of your Christmas gifts. That dollar nine and six ain't going to your gift no more. What gift? We need a. We're moving. We're out of the gas station. Now, if we would have stopped at the first gas station, we would have already been at the store. But you know. Yeah, if we, if we didn't run in, if we didn't come here, we wouldn't have got to see the man and his mama. <laughs> there was a guy in his car. Plates and mama. <laughs> We're like, yep. His helmet haircut. And he had a mullet and a handlebar mustache. Like, <laughs> yep, he looks like somebody you would have a mama. A mama car. <sighs> on the road again. On the road again. <laughs> <laughs> We are splitting up as soon as we get down here, right? Uh, <laughs> so it's raining out, and we just got back from getting a present, but father locked the car, so I had to go searching through another store so I could get the keys so we could get in here, and Andrew's thrilled. You can just see the Christmas spirit ringing through him. We're in the mall, doing mall things. We lost Dad to the chair. He's not getting up again. Andrew is getting a gift somewhere. I won't tell you where, it's a secret. From Victoria. <laughs> and... <clears throat> and we're... We're just here doing molly things. Christmas decor. So we are en route to the next shopping place. Andrew is absolutely thrilled. Finally filled with the spirit of giving. Yeah, he got a gift card. Yeah, we went in 
<clears throat> and looked around and he gave up two seconds into the store. He's like, never mind, I'm getting a gift card. So now we are on to Barnes and Noble because we need to find some nobility and Barnes. <laughs> Have a next generation. This is Hey Arnold, a guide to relationships. That is the best thing I've seen in life. Uh, they have the Miranda Sings novel. Just doing some Christmas shopping in Barnes and Nobles, which is the most con store that I've been in so far. Oh, and there, there are parents. Andrew said he's, his a series he didn't know they had, one through seven. A silent voice? Oh, you wanted that before, did you not? Last year, but they didn't have it in here, so I didn't put it on there. You wanted a Harbor Freight? Yep. So we're waiting for Dad and Meyer because my dad has the weirdest shopping strategy mm. I've ever heard of in my life. He wants to drive around to all these places to look for something, to look at prices of stuff, compare it to everywhere else, and then decide where he wants to buy it. Once I find something I'm looking for, and it's in my budget, it's what I want to buy for this person, I buy it and have it done. And then dad usually spends how much time on Christmas Eve shopping he's like a christmas eve he's one of those people that goes out on christmas eve to buy the bulk of his stuff it drives me nuts i hate that i have to do shopping now the week before christmas all right it got super foggy out like yeah, look how foggy crazy. it is and everybody in their sister and sister-in-law came out to the store today because it's the last weekend before Christmas. Well, I guess there's another weekend because Christmas isn't until Tuesday, but still. And oh, my peaches. And we're all hungry. And we had the debate sitting here going, Mom doesn't want anything too new and Dad doesn't want anything we've had before. Andrew doesn't care. He's just starving. And I'm just sitting here going, Ugh. I don't like shopping and doing all this shopping. Mm, over it. I suggested I have, but. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't go anywhere that even suggests that it serves breakfast. McDonald's was immediately nixed from the list because Dad was like, it's not a real restaurant if they only serve breakfast. Well, they have other things. No, they don't. All right. At one point, they were called IHOP. Yeah, they had burgers. No, they had IHOP, yeah. That's what you just said. We have burgers. Okay, Whippy. You're a breakfast place. What do you know about a burger? We came to a place called Cheddar's. Lovely menu. And they have these really cool fans. Nice little atmospheric place. Got a plant in front of us. Now, what to eat? You want to get baby bag with the biggest stack of racks <laughs> of baby back ribs. Dad got whatever this is with some casserole. I've got a really, I gotta say, I got some food envy going on with that burger, Mom. And I got some Cajun pasta and a lemonade. All right, got stuff. We got back. Here I am. That food was so good. And it only came to like $60 for the four of us for like these full meals that were really good. We hadn't been to that restaurant Cheddar's before, but we're definitely going to be returning. And now I was thinking that I was going to bake cookies. I'm not doing cookies. Maybe no bakes. But for the moment, I'm not doing any like full cookies today. <sighs> gotta, gotta figure out the calculations and deductions. Ooh, money was spent today. But it's in the name of Christmas and giving and love, so it's face the wall of pictures because otherwise presents will be in the background. I went into my closet because 
I've been hiding a gift from my dad in my closet um, for mom. And she came out, she's like, hey, get dad's present out of your closet so I can wrap it. And I went back there and there were, was a gift from my brother that I completely forgot that I, I got him two gifts today. And then I went, I was like, oh, I bought him this too. I forgot that we got him this. Oopsie. Just lots of, lots of gifts. I need to not shop early because then I forget that I get them. And then when I go to wrap things, I'm like, ooh, ooh. It is time for the hot chocolate. It looks really crazy because I couldn't find any gingerbread syrup. So I had to make my own gingerbread flavoring with hot chocolate with ginger, cloves, nutmeg, a little bit of molasses, just like a teaspoon of molasses. And, um, what else did I add in there? Cinnamon. And lots of cinnamon. And I can't wrap anything right now because my brother needed my scissors. And everyone else has the wrapping paper. So all I have is tape. And it takes more than, uh, more than tape to wrap a gift. It's only going on 7 o'clock. But it looks so dark outside it said that oh you can see me and because we've been doing stuff all day it feels like <sighs> but I actually slept last night so I had a lot more energy today I wasn't up all night with a cough so I feel a lot better but I'm still kind of worn out shopping so much shopping and I'm almost done dad's the worst I still need to get stuff for him He's so hard to buy for. And he's always the last one. <laughs> Terrifying. They were here. They were here. Mom came over to me and she said, are you playing Christmas music? And I said, no. Yeah. I said, maybe Andrew's playing Christmas music, which would be ridiculous because my brother is the least festive person I've ever met. <clears throat> so no, he, did, he wasn't playing Christmas music. So she drags me into her room and she goes, listen, I hear singing. So I peek out there and there's carolers. They were across the street. I was paranoid. I said to turn off all the lights, but then it was too late. They came over. I hid in the closet. Because, and she's like, but it was so cute. They were little kids and with their families and they were singing. That terrifies me. I can't tell you why, but it scares me when people are caroling. I think it's sweet. I know they're trying to be festive and nice and bring joy to the community. Good on them. It scares me. <laughs> I don't know why. It just I don't feel anxiety very often, but that's one of the times when it flares for no reason. It's inexplicable. It's ridiculous. And it makes me go... That's what happened. So... This is what the bedroom looks like when I'm trying to wrap presents. There's just, there's stuff everywhere. Just everywhere. Here comes the boy. He already finished his gift wrapping. Can you see him trying? You're, tell everyone what you told me when I asked you about your gift wrapping quest. Oh, it's done. And? Um, oh, I was only going to do half of them, but then I decided I would probably not get to them until the day before <laughs> Christmas. And I was like, why am I wrapping this shit? I'm going to just open this crap in the 12 hours anyways. <laughs> well, I'll have you know, I haven't wrapped one gift. Mom? Mom? Her hands are bleeding. She's wrapped so many gifts. Uh, let's see, I had... I had eight for mom, <laughs> seven for Fallon, six for you, and I think five for Doug. Okay, um, it's a little early. Not quite sure what time it is. Oh, I guess it's not early. It's later than I thought. I've been wrapping gifts for hours, literally. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm going to end the vlog here. Because I'm just going to be wrapping presents and then I'm going to get ready for bed. And I will see you all for more Vlogmas tomorrow. Bye!
and I will leave you with this. I wish there was smell-o-vision for this candle.